What's good, gang? Hope you're doing well. Hope this video finds you in good health. It's your boy Cameron, the video straight like that. Comment down below what you want to see in the next one. Like, subscribe if you're brand new. And let's hop into today's video, man. So today, I wanted to talk to y'all about the true power of semen retention, bro. This is what you got to understand. When you stop going crazy on yourself, you're going to see benefits that you never thought that you would ever see, bro. But you have to stick with it, dog. You have to stick with it. Because if you don't, then you're not going to get those benefits, bro. And what I mean by benefits, I don't mean that you're just going to start having Superman powers, bro. But what I mean is you're going to start feeling a lot better. Talking to girls is going to become a lot easier. You're going to look more attractive. And it's not because of anything like, oh, my aura is like, no, bro. It all has to do with what's up here. It's brain. It's science, bro. Because realize this. Every time you go crazy on yourself, you're releasing endorphins, serotonin, dopamine, all them good, happy chemicals all at one time, bro. It's that instant gratification, right? You're releasing it all at one time, and it's coming fast, boom, in the moment. It only took you like one, two minutes, bro, right? But then every other period in your life, your brain is not releasing those chemicals like that because it just used it all up when you went crazy on yourself at 12 a.m., now you go to school the next day, you feeling uh you feeling tired, you feeling sluggish, you feeling slow, you feeling depressed. That's why a lot of y'all feel sad all the time. See, people walking around, man, life ain't hitting, life ain't hitting the same. It's probably because you're going crazy on yourself. You're not holding on to your seed. And when you're not holding on to your seed, you constantly just busting, busting, busting. Then of course your body's gonna feel like that because it's not releasing them happy chemicals, because you're not doing that. Of course, it's not going to release the same chemicals as if you was just taking a walk. If you go and take a walk versus you going crazy on yourself, bro, your brain is going to be like, bro, why are we taking a walk? Get back up in the bed, bro. Like, what are you doing, bro? Like, we need more of them chemicals. Like, we need to feel happy again. So every time you walk around after you go crazy, now your brain is like, oh, we're sad. We're depressed. And that's why you feel that way. That's why you feel anxious. That's why you feel like it's so hard to talk to people, specifically talk to girls, bro, because you're so used to that instant gratification. See, it makes it easier for you to scent because when you used to going crazy on yourself and that fast, fast, that fast busting, bro, when you used to that, now your brain is like, oh, I want things fast, 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 fast. So you don't even have the patience or the time to talk to a girl and really get to know her or nothing like that. Immediately when you talk to a girl, you're thinking about sex. You're thinking about going crazy. You're thinking about, huh, huh, huh. that's what you're thinking about immediately when you talk to a woman. Immediately when you see a woman, that is your first thought. You want to go crazy on her, right? But what you have to understand is that's not how women work. You got to slow down, bro. You have to slow down. Because you over here going Mach 5, the serial speed racer, thinking about what you're going to do to her one whole time. She probably not even interested. Now, whenever you texting a girl that you like, maybe she got a little bit of interest. Now it's easier for you to simp because you're in a lustful mind state. Because you're thinking about doing stuff with her and you sitting here texting her. Now you like, man, should I say some freak stuff? Your brain is like, ooh, say some freak stuff. Like, we want it now. We want it now. That's not how girls work. And that's why you have so much trouble talking to them. Because you don't know how to develop real social skills anymore. Because all your brain wants to do is just get, to, get your nut off. That's it. That's it. That's why you don't want to slow down and actually have a connection with a woman. And so since you can't have a connection with a woman, you never going to have a girlfriend, bro. You never gonna find a wife. That's just how it goes. That's how it is. Then, not to not to mention, bro, let's be all the way 100, bro. When you watching corn on your phone, on your laptop, screen, TV, whatever, PlayStation, Xbox, and you looking at other dudes' sticks, let's be real, bro. That's that that bro. You looking at other dudes' sticks and you compare them to your own, bro. And you like, dang, my shit little, bro. I should like mad little. Now you in your head, you self-conscious. Think about the way that you feel after you finish, bro. Does anyone feel cool after they finish? No. You sitting there, look around. Dang, I'm really in a dark room by myself with nut on my hands and on my stomach and on my chin. I just went crazy on myself. Why did I do that? Nobody feels cool. Nobody finishes. Up. Man, I feel like Gunner right now. <laughs> Cooler than a bit. Like, no, bro. You feel lame. You feel weak. You feel stupid. And, oh, I don't want to do that again. Then you do it again in the next hour. Because you're addicted. You can't stop. It's a brain thing. Your brain is addicted to that serotonin, to that dopamine that you get when you do that. And that doesn't go away. That carry, that stays with you, bro. So now when you go outside in the real world, you go to school, you go to work. Now you overthinking about yourself. Like, dang, my stick little. 
Now you walking around with all this weight, like, man, I feel like a loser. I feel lame. That's why you find it hard to talk to people because you don't even like yourself at that point, bro. You find it hard to talk to me because you constantly overthink it in your own head. Not to be you depressed because you're, you're not getting uh, dopamine, dopamine rushes constantly during the day. Your life just takes a downturn. You don't even think your friends like you because you're just in your head, in your head, in your head. That's the problem with getting addicted to that type of stuff, dog. And the problem is that society makes it normal. It's normal to do these things. And then spiritually, you hurting yourself as well, bro. You hurting yourself spiritually because that's, let's be honest, bro. You sinning, bro. And when you're doing that, you're only hurting your soul. And if your soul ain't right, nothing's going to be right. You got to understand your spirit, your soul, that's what guides you through the life, through, through life, bro. So if that's not right, if your soul and your spirit is constantly, you know what I mean, being lustful and all this other stuff, you're going to invite all type of bad negative energy into your life. I'm just being honest, bro. I'm just being real. But when you stop doing that, you're going to see all those things corrected. Literally the opposite. You won't feel so down. You won't feel so depressed. You won't feel like it's hard to talk to people. Talking to people will become easier. Your brain will be in less of a fog. It won't be in such a fog because it won't be used to that instant gratification and that dopamine hit all the time. It won't be in such a fog. You'll be able to think quicker. You'll be lighter on your feet. Your muscles will feel stronger. There's literally almost, almost endless benefits to hopping on semen retention, dog. But the biggest one of all, you no longer letting uh, 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 women with BBLs and fake breasts, breasticles control your life. That's the biggest W. You no longer let. So now you don't. It's, it's, it's easy for you not to sit for girls because you're not. Oh my gosh, look at her. She's so, she's so, ooh, look at, look at how she, when you get out of that lustful mindset, bro, it's easy to not sit for girls because now you see right through them. You pier you got them piercing eyeballs, bro. I see right through you. I see right through them fake plastic silicone yitties, bro. I see you for who you are. I see your heart. I see your heart is dark. I see that, bro. X-ray vision, bro. Superman. You can, you can dang near become Superman to these girls. If you stop going crazy on yourself, you'll look more attractive because you'll feel better. Your muscles, you know what I'm saying? You're going to feel better in the gym. Telling you, bro. Telling you. And here's the thing. I understand that it's hard. You probably think right now, well, Cam, the benefits sound great and everything, but what do I need to do? How? I can't stop. I get it, bro. I've been there. This is what I'm going to tell you, bro. Personally, I would stop cold turkey. But first, do whatever works for you. But whatever it is, set a day that you are going to permanently stop. Set a day, July 30th, July 31st. I'm going to stop this day. January 5th, whatever, bro. I'm going to stop this day. I'm either going to go cold turkey or I'm going to reduce how much I do it. But on this day, I will be done. Set a day to be done. Because what happens time and time again it's, I'm going to quit. I'm going to stop. I'm going to quit. I'm going to stop. I'm going to quit. I'm going to stop. And since you don't have a day in mind, you keep, well, maybe this one time. Well, you know, you know, it's okay because today, you know, I'm proud of myself today. I had a good day. You give yourself too much leeway. Give yourself a day that you're going to stop, first of all. Second of all, realize this, bro. Change your environment as well, bro. What I mean by change your environment. When I went to college, bro, I was around other people. I couldn't do that. I had a dorm roommate, bro. Oh, I got to put lotion on my face, bro. My face getting dry. I couldn't do that no more, bro. I had roommates and everything. You know what I'm saying? And so when I changed my environment, it became way easier not to do that, bro. Way easier. So you can do that same thing. Change your environment. I'm not saying go to college right now. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is you could even if you move to like a different location, you know what I'm saying? If you move to a different house, move to a different city, something like that, that can help you because your brain responds well to fresh starts, bro. When you have a fresh start, you you kind of like think like, I'm a new person. I'm a whole new person. That's why people reinvent themselves when they go to college. Because like, man, I don't have to be that old person that's addicted to the hub no more. I don't have to be that old person that's this way or that way no more. You can recreate yourself. And that's almost like a spiritual thing because your soul, your spirit is really what, that's what guides you, right? And who you are and your personality, right? Your soul and your spirit doesn't feel tied down to all them demons that you racked up. All them lustful demons that you had back at home, bro. When you go to college or when you go somewhere else, you have a fresh new start, bro. God giving you a fresh brand new life, my boy.
But another thing is this too. If you can't move somewhere, if you can't go to a new location, just change your room around. It's almost the same thing. Change your room around. Change your Instagram profile picture. This might sound stupid, but I'm telling you right now. Change your lock screen background. Give yourself an update, bro. Change errors. Act brand new. Give yourself a change your bed from going this way to that way or something like that. Change your room around. Change stuff. Put some new furniture in. Some cheap furniture from Ikea. Do something that's going to bring some sort of newness into your life. So that way you can have a new fresh start. When you do this, I promise you, it'll get a little bit easier to stop. As long as you give yourself a day, I'm going to stop on this day. Change your environment around. And the last thing that you can really do is really start talking to God, bro. That's going to make it super. Bro, when you get in that Bible, bro, you start talking to the Lord, bro. I'm talking, bro, I'm telling you, he going to bless you, bro. He going to bless you in a whole lot of ways. He's going to give you crazy strength, bro. Crazy strength. Read the Bible right now. It's mad people in there, mad great examples of guys that were strong. You want to read any book? Read that. Read the Bible, bro. I'm telling you right now. You're going to replenish your soul, replenish your spirit, bro. You're going to feel strong. You're going to have more good days. I'm telling you, man. Now. I understand this. It's easy to stop. What I mean by easy to stop is, I don't mean like, you know, I just sat up here and said how hard it is to stop. Dude, what's on my face, man? What's going on? I just sat up here and said how hard it is to stop, bro. But at the same time, the hardest part comes after the initial, right? So at first, you're going to go through some withdrawals, right? So you're probably going to feel irritated because you're not getting that dopamine hit all the time. You're not getting that instant gratification. But then over time, you're going to start to get urges. This is when semen retention gets hard. Right. This is when it starts to get hard. You start to go on an incline. This is when it starts to ruin your life. Right. Because when you start to get those urges again, your brain is like, OK, come on, bro. Like, come on, let's look. look, look. You got to get your rocks off somehow, some way. So anytime you're around a girl, you probably gonna get bricked up. A girl, look at your way. You're going to get bricked up. It's going to be very easy to simp because a girl will look your way. You're like, Dick! like you're going to start. Girls are going to start looking more beautiful again now. You won't have to go and find the most plastic, coked out crackhead on, 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 on P-Hub, you know what I'm saying, to get your rocks off. Now you can just look at a regular girl who's built like a stick. Maybe she even built like a whale. And you'll be able to feel something. Dang, she's beautiful. She's a woman. Look at what God created. You'll look at her like that, bro. This is a hard section to be in when you're on your journey of semen retention because it's like, dang, I really want to, I really want to, you know what I'm saying? But I got to relax. I got to chill out, bro. I can't be going that crazy right now. I got to chill out. You have to make sure that you stay strong during this time. But you want to know the hardest time. See, that's when it starts to get hard. But the hardest part of senior retention is this. After a while, you'll start to feel normal again. And this is the most dangerous time. Because when you start to feel normal again, and what I mean by normal, I mean real normal, right? Like, you'll get dopamine hits from things in nature, from things in real life, from talking to people. You'll start to feel better. And this will become your new normal, right? So at your new normal, when you have good days and stuff like that, see, I understand how this work, bro. You have a good day at work, a good day at school, whatever. You lay in there, man, I deserve this. I deserve to, I deserve to treat myself a little bit. That's the biggest part where you probably slide, bro. You probably had a great workout. Maybe it was a great week, been a great month. Man, I can do it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I can, I can, I can. You always treat yourself. You have to be stricter than that. You cannot allow yourself to backslide in that way. Oh, well, Cam, it's only one time. Because one time turns to two times or to three times, you right back where you started. All that progress for nothing. You have to change your lifestyle, bro. You can't just quit. You have to change your entire lifestyle to no longer revolve around those type of things, bro. Because if you don't change your lifestyle, if you don't change your environment, if you don't replenish your soul and your spirit, if you don't get around better people, if you don't set a day to stop, then all this is just going to be for nothing. You're just going to go right back. You're just going to slide right back, bro. You're just going to slide right back. I'm telling you right now. You got to get that lustful spirit out too, bro. A lot of people neglect the spiritual portion of it, but there's a big spiritual portion. You got to get that lustful stuff out of you, bro. You have to, have to, have to start embracing other masculine characteristics in your life. Anyway, man, that's all I got for y'all today. Hope y'all got something from this video. Love y'all. I'm out of here, man. Peace.